Welcome back to my channel. So it's haul time and this is just a random haul. Um, no one particular thing, just a few things that I've gotten in the recent month or so and just the other day when I was actually at the Dollar Tree I picked up some makeup and then I got a few clothing items and I did some thrifting so let's get into it all right so the first products that I have um, is actually not these are all from Dollar Tree so don't sleep on the Dollar Tree um, this is the Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Studio in Blue Blaze. It's a mechanical pencil. It's the one with the, um, I think it's like a cold eye cold pencil, but anyway, you can use it to do smoky eye looks. So that's that. Take it out the package real quick. Okay, let's come on. Yeah, so it's a smoky eye pencil and it's retractable so yeah so you can use it for any liner or put it all over your lid smoke it out so a variance of things so that's the first product um and the second product is the same thing but it's in green um what is the actual color of it emerald fury so yeah so that's how that looks so I'm interested in trying these out to see how they do. So I'll be doing that soon. Um, let's see. The next, actually, uh, Milani. Milani eyeshadows are usually like $4.49. And to get this for a dollar, you can't beat that. And it's a Milani eyeshadow in the color Blackout. You can use it wet to intensify or dry for a softer look. And it's I guess it's from the Runway Eyes Collection. But anyway, it's really pretty. It has like some shimmer in it. I'm trying to get it open so I can show you. It has some shimmer in it. Um, I don't need this brush. Oh, it's locked in there. Perfect. Anyway, it's black and it has like some shimmers in there. But I think once you use it once, that top, that top layer that has all that glitter on there will go away. And it'll still be a little bit of shimmer in it, but maybe not as much. That's just my... Um, previous experience with things like this so I think that'll go away but nonetheless it's a really nice black color and you know what I could actually use it with this green pencil so that may be a tutorial coming up soon um what else did I get this lipstick I actually found at the I went to the hair store and I think it was a color I was supposed to get one time before but I forgot to go back and get it but anyway it is by who is it by? Kiss New York Moisture Lipstick. And it's in the color number 12. Um, Madame. So it's a nice like purple pink color. Whatever you want to call it. Hope you can see that. It's a really pretty color. So I like that. So I picked that up. And then... Also, back to the dollar store, got another Milani baked eyeshadow, and I'm actually wearing this color now. And I actually have a tutorial that I'll be putting up soon with this look that I did here today. And it's like a beige color or a creamy beige or I don't know what color you want to call it, but it also had shimmers in it. And the shimmers are there, but not as much as it is when you first see the package, just like I showed you with that black color. But it still does have a little bit of shimmer in it once you apply it. And this is called number 11, Beach Sand. It's from the same collection, Runway Eyes. So yeah, so I'll show you guys that tutorial next. It's very, very pretty. Um, I also got this from the dollar store. LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish with hardeners. And this is called Jewel Tone. It has a lot of, it's purple, turquoise, pink in there thought it was a really pretty combo of glitters I have a lot of nail polish so whenever I find little nail polish I like to pick it up just to try it out and I didn't do any nail looks today I'm letting my nails breathe for like a week 
and then um, next time you guys see me they'll be done because I usually do them myself just so I can use all of my polish like I said before in a previous video so I'll do something to them next time and lastly I picked up another um, concealer this is in medium beige this gives more of a brighter highlight usually I go for the subtle highlight but I want to see how I can do with a brighter highlight so I'm gonna try this out in another tutorial but when I do a full face of makeup when I do either a BB cream or no foundation at all or just concealer I use that soft subtle highlight so I'm gonna try this with my um, foundation looks so that's it for the makeup okay so now on to some clothes accessories and shoes so my first item is this beautiful peplum top it is faux leather and I'm usually very um, skeptical about buying faux leather items but I think Ash this is from Ashley Stewart by the way and I think Ashley Stewart did a really good job of this color because it appears to be a little bit more luxe than what it is um, I really don't have too many faux leather pieces that have leather pants, but they are genuine leather pants. And this is a faux leather top, but it did a good job. And it has this um, sheer panel here, and it also has this, um, I don't know what you call it in the back, this stretchy area in the back. And then, of course, this peplum. And on the underside, there's like a, um, what do you call this? I don't know, some type of fabric. I can't think of the name. I know what I want to say, but I can't think of it. But it feels almost like, you know, you have a little blanket, I guess, so you don't, it doesn't stick to your skin. So they definitely executed this well. So I went ahead, well, actually a friend got this for me. Um, she bought this for me because I really liked it. So, yeah, I can't wait to wear this. And I'll probably, I'm not sure how I'll wear it yet. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't thought of any ideas, but I know I just want to have this top. Because I thought it was a very good faux leather top without looking, you know, so cheesy. So that's that. So where to hang it that doesn't work okay we're gonna throw it on bed the next top is this um this is also from Ashley Stewart and I believe they have this there still now um maybe like 40% off but anyway I got this vest um I don't know it just really spoke to me it just I don't I really don't know what it is I just feel like I needed this in my closet it, um, I plan on wearing it like with some skinny jeans, maybe like a little tank or a tube top, put this on, some nice pumps, and it'll just like speak for itself. But I thought it was really nice, and again, this has some faux leather panels on it, but against this white fabric, it doesn't look so fake or, you know, or just cliche. It doesn't really look, um, cheesy. Like I said, I'm very particular about buying faux leather. But I thought this was nice. They had an all black one, but that one didn't look good. I thought it was better against this like off white color. So yeah, so I plan on wearing this soon. Maybe I'll do it in a lookbook to show you how I'll style it. And yeah, so this again, this is from Ashley Stewart. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Throw that on the bed. Okay, so next I have some thrifted items. Let me fix this on the hanger properly because it's actually on there wrong. Okay, I'll just hold the hanger. Don't worry about it. So this is actually from the thrift store. It's a black skirt. We all can use black skirts, but this one has an exposed gold zipper and it's kind of like asymmetrical. It doesn't go down the side. It kind of goes across the front. So I thought this was a very pretty skirt. I mean, it's in very good condition. Of course, I wash everything that I get from the thrift store. And I just thought it was a nice little skirt just to have in my closet. So, you know, shows a little bit of thigh when you want to be a little daring or what have you. Or you can put on a stocking under it, you know, if you're going to wear it to church or something like that. But I thought it was a really nice skirt. So I went ahead and picked this up. I believe I got it for maybe three dollars so I mean you can't beat those prices and you know what I wasn't always a thrifter I kind of just got into thrifting maybe like three years ago I didn't really see the beauty in thrifting you know I just I was like I don't want to go in there I don't want to dig through all that stuff but let me tell you my friends started taking me thrifting and sometimes the very thing that you need for an outfit to create a look you find at the thrift store I remember I was going out of town and I needed some shorts to go with this particular top. 
couldn't find the shorts anywhere. So my guy friend went into Goodwill, found the shorts. It set off the whole look. So don't be afraid to go thrifting. I mean, you can make something that's two dollars look like you pay a million dollars for it of course you don't want to go in there and just get just any old thing you really want to take your time and really look through things because there's a lot of hidden gems in thrift stores so don't be afraid to go thrifting i mean some of the best looks you see people wear are probably thrifted items so don't sleep on the thrifting i'll have a good clearance a good sale and some good thrifted clothes but anyway enough of me rambling so that's that then i also got this vintage style dress from I think this is I might have got this from just a regular thrift store I don't think it was Goodwill just one of these random thrift stores in my area it has the heavy um, shoulder pads so I think it's like maybe from the 80s if I'm you know plugging into my fashion history brain but I think it's like the 80s um the brand is diana marco not familiar but i'll probably do some research on it just to see what this piece is that i have in my hand and it comes with a belt the matching belt and it has pockets on the side so yeah i think i'm gonna enjoy wearing this i'll probably wear this like to church or something it is um i think it went to my calf so i just thought it was a nice dress i mean you can't pass up on it. it's a very vintage dress so I'll see how I can wear that and how I can style it. And I'll actually do a, um, a thrifting lookbook to show you how you can use at least one or two thrifted items, pair with something you may already have in your closet and turn it into this ultra glam look or something that's just really chic and casual. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably be filming that in the next um, coming weeks. Okay, and this here, I believe I got it from the same place as I got that. Don't ask me what it is, but I just thought it was neat. It was a dollar. And it's like this envelope style briefcase. Comes with straps. If you couldn't see it before, sorry. Has this little flap here. And I just thought it was kind of different. You know, I'll probably wear this if I'm wearing some like um, Oxford style shoes. Maybe some jeans or a slack, you know, something. So I'll, I may wear it with that. It is just, you know, something I haven't seen before. So I'll work on pairing that. But I thought it was a nice little buy just for a dollar. I mean, it was only a dollar. So I just grabbed it. So that's that one. And then I also got, I also got this bag here. Um, You can take the straps off so you can hold it, you know, by the handle. Or you can wear the strap on, you know, for that long that long look if you're wearing like maybe a grandpa sweater or something like that but I thought it was a cute little bag it's in hunter green um I want to say this was like a dollar or two dollars but it was another random thrift store I'm not sure you know you can tell this a vintage find this pattern the inside you you don't really see that these days very stiff very nice little bag it's a um, Rosenio splendid I don't know who that is either but I'll go ahead and look them up and see what they're all about. But I thought it was a nice little bag to have. Nice color too. So that's that. And lastly, I got these shoes as um, a gift during Christmas. And I wore them in one of my lookbooks. So I've already worn these. But it's a booty from Target. It has the gold toe, gold pito here. This gold zipper here. It's a suede look nice size heel um yeah it's from target it's from the Massimo brand and target has some really nice on trend shoes you can always go in there and find the um low end value or the low end style of a high end brand so check out target they always have nice boots nice shoes nice little um canvas shoes things like that only thing with target i have to go up a size i'm a size 10 but in target in their heels I have to get a size 11 just to make sure I have adequate room in there because they can be a little bit narrow sometimes. So if I get the 11, I'll be good. But I found a lot of, you know, nice shoes in there in previous um, shopping trips. These were, I think, like 30 bucks. But you can sometimes wait for things to go on sale. Like I said, these were a gift, though. But when you wait for things to go on sale, you can still get them. I remember getting a two pair of heels, pumps out of there. They were $10 a piece. So, you know, they always have a lot of things in stock. 
but when I see my size in such a shoe like this that I know is the in season and a lot of people will grab I try to go ahead and get it other than that I just wait for it and watch it and then I go back and get it so yeah I thought this was a really nice shoe um yeah I think that's it for my little random and haul just an update on the channel I will be bringing you guys a lot of fashion lookbooks I'm working on that now piecing things together for you guys because I shoot them all in one day either I've worn it before or I plan on wearing it in the future so I shoot them all in one day and then I go ahead and present them to you guys so I already have a lot of ideas to bring you guys I'll also keep up with the makeup looks because I just, you know, I'm, I'm expanding on my makeup capabilities. So I want to just, you know, share that with you guys. Because I'm learning. So you guys can learn too, you know. It's just something fun to do. You know, play, I'm basically playing in makeup in a sense. Putting on makeup. Showing you guys. Throwing it on Instagram. You know, just to show you guys some different ideas. I draw inspiration from many different places. This look here, I kind of just played around in my makeup and it ended up turning out very nicely so that's why I'll show go ahead and show you guys that tutorial so sometimes I'm filming things and I don't know how it's gonna turn out and if it turns out well then I bring it to you guys if not we just you know hide it for a later date so yeah um or I retry it again and then I'll then I'll bring it to you guys so yeah that's it um I just really want to you know keep going with the channel and make sure I bring you guys new and exciting things and for my very few subscribers that I do have, if there's something that you want me to see, then definitely let me know and I'll try to do that for you. Um, that's really what it's all about is, you know, bringing, take, bringing your audience what they want to see. And of course, I'll do what I have in my brain just to kind of keep, keep, the, just to kind of keep my creative juices flowing. But other than that, you know, I'm really enjoying doing this and I hope you guys are enjoying my videos as well. And to my plus size girls, just be on the lookout, you know for some other things coming your way and sometimes I may come on here and do some little real talk videos or I may post it on my blog so make sure you guys check out my blog as well but yeah so with all that said I will see you guys in my next video